Hi folks, uh, back to watercolour so for a day or two. I've just ordered uh, a couple of 20 sheet packs of Ken Bromley from Ken Bromley. Uh, it's £90, Saunders Waterford, cold pressed, my favourite paper. But I, I haven't done many watercolour paper, uh, watercolours on this paper yet. But, uh, it was given to me by a friend and uh, it's the practice paper. It's okay, but I let it. I let the water soak in first. Um, with the uh, Saunders Waterford, it's much more porous. But this is a good. It's good paper. It's it's great for for using for oil or acrylic painting, provided you prime the uh, surface for oils. Don't have to bother if it's. Uh, if you're using acrylic, the acrylic will be the will be the sealant, but uh, it, it takes quite a bit of work uh, pushing uh, acrylic around on a on a dry, unprimed surface. Uh, somebody was uh, sent a, a, a post on on my YouTube channel, and uh, I was having trouble with Hakes buying Hakes. Like the Ron Manson Hakes or Hakes in general, uh, and, and well, the Hake itself it it does split. If you you know you work on it and it dries a bit and it splits, and the bristles are very soft. But but you need a light touch with them. You don't so sort of scrubbing in like a mad mad person. You just stroke and just touch. Uh, now here's one, but it's not a Ron Manson one. It's very similar, but it's it's very soft, and it's got a serrate, serrated edge, which means it's very good for stippling. So uh, we'll we'll start. I'll, I'll put a sky in first. So I've got my got my cloth. Oh, that's a dirty cloth. That one. I'll I'll put that there so that I can. Uh, just take off some moisture. Okay, now there uh, we go. Bit of raw sienna in the. Oh, let's have a bit of bit of alizarin in there as well. The board's at about 30, 30 uh, degrees. So oh, there's my basic uh, layer. Oh, I kind of bit of a bit of red. Why not? And then we'll put a bit of blue in. Make sure the blue is uh, completely dissolved in the brush. Uh, horizon colour. Let's go back with a bit of that uh, sienna. Ooh, that's dirty. Soaking the brush on the cloth. A little bit of yellow. Now we we'll have a bit of cloud in there as well, so a bit of red, a bit of blue. Right, what I'll do is I'll just lay that flat a bit, it's falling down the page too much. Uh, let's finish my tea. Uh, what was I going to say? Ah yes, I'm going to show you something. I meant to show you this a while ago. Uh, this. You can get them from Ken Bromley, but a friend of mine, who I, if you might remember, Fred Gillespie, who died five or six weeks ago, four or five weeks ago, uh, invented this. It's a 
perspective finder holds it up level and it's magnetic you can get your roof lines that sort of thing very useful or you could just use it, you just use it as a, to a selector just to see what view suits I don't know how much they are now I paid about 12 quid for that but I bought it from Fred he was a great 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 friend he's got a very very good watercolor painter one of the best and a lovely guy very talented engineer sign writer he spent most of his life sign writing and he he uh, had some lovely stories to tell um, it was good he came to a number of dinner parties here at my house and we went to here and there to enjoy his company a cat lover as am I might have put that back there so I thought it's just a diversion while this uh, starts to dry off now what I like about this uh, let's get that right using the ultramarine and uh, the light red when it settles it tends to separate out between two colours and it gives a lovely, lovely um, mottled appearance. Oh, I quite, quite like that. But the paper is still very well, still soaking in the paper, and it's very damp anyway, the air, so it's not going to uh, dry very well. I got, of course, because I've got my new camera, I got. I can pause it, uh, but I can't, it won't pause and record. Uh, let's just... Well, I'll, I'll dry it, so um, I'll get my hair dry it. And I don't, I don't mind editing these things now. Okay, well, there we go. Uh, we, I'm going to... Uh, uh, so what I'm going to do, Payne's Grey and uh, this uh, lovely yellow here. Paints are a little bit dry for lack of use. Get a nice green. With a and we'll sort of just... A lot of water on that. I'll use the uh, medium hake, I think, on that. I really like uh, using hakes. That's too symmetrical. Oh, let's just get a bit of a shadow in. Let's get a warmer one up here. Just making this up as I'm going along, just to really show what hakes can can do, the impression that you can get with them. Hope you've enjoyed some of the uh, oil paints I've done lately. So I leave a few spaces for the birds to fly through. Let's get some shadow in here. Right, so 
Go along here. Now you can take advantage of the paper when it's wet. This is not a great paper, it's a, it's a, a studio paper for practice. Rather than waste loads of... Uh, loads of good paper. Well, it is good paper for what it is. Now the paper's drying quite well on that side, so you get start getting the dry brush. Yeah, it's got a bit of a bit of blue in the background there. Well, that just just uh, two colours for those lovely greens. You don't need to 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 have lots of greens in your palette. Although I was thinking the other day of doing a sort of uh, of a, an impressionist painting um, with lots of colours that the impressionists would have used. But I just think it, you don't, you don't need loads of colours, you, you can learn the mixes. It comes with practice, of course, but... Right, well, let's go into this, uh, this hook here. It's got all those lovely uh, hairs that are get the old back to the green. So that's what I like about about this uh, brush. Look, it, it it gives you the impression of. That you've done lots and lots of strokes when all you've done is what I'm doing here, just texturing. Texturing and contrast. Right, oh, got a bit of a. Just painting rough ground again. It's it's when you pull these off, they, they can be very attractive. But you can overdo them. Well, I'm going to put a bit of detail in there, or the illusion of detail. I would like to try that. Well, I'll try it because uh, I can easily edit it now without learning how. Well, I might want to, to, I want to do something stronger in the foreground. I haven't used any burnt sienna yet. So we've just used paint, well, part of the background we've, we've got for all this is just uh, Payne's Grey and, and Cadmium Yellow. Cadmium Yellow? Oh, I can't remember where it was. Doesn't really matter. It's a yellow, there are probably two or three yellows in there. Uh, they all do different things because of 
I can't be bothered to, or oh, I'm too mean to scrape the ball off and put some fresh stuff out. I must have had that alizarin on there for for five or six years. I don't use much of it. Uh, right, get the rigger. Use the old Frank Clark's rigger. And we'll put in just a little bit of bird sienna and Payne's grey. Right, okay, now we'll uh, I didn't have any idea what I was going to do for this one. I just start and just develop it. You can put houses in if you wish. I'm not a lover of houses. I like um, natural objects. But then, having said that, I've just done a couple of brittle cottages in acrylic and oil. So I, I, I don't really plan any of this. They are demonstrations after all. I don't do any uh, other, other, anything other than demonstrations these days. It's enough doing it for YouTube. Remember, your chunks have got to uh, be thick enough to hold up the, the canopy. Just, uh, I'm going to put something a bit heavy there, balance that tree there, so I'll get my, my medium hake. And we'll mix a bit of that yellow with, with that there. And I want that darker. Put a bit of uh, sienna in there with it. There's too much water in it. Uh, dry lighter than when you put them on. Just get a bit of strength here. Now remember the hake is not a bristle brush. 
it's a it's a goat hair brush and the hairs are soft so don't be surprised when it doesn't do what you want it to because you're not you're you're not controlling the water on it probably or you're see I, it's just a just a feather touch look just just touching each one makes a mark no just Just get that nice green down here. Okay, well there we are, I've got a painting. I'll uh, put that in a mount, a bit of masking shape, just to... Stop the paper page falling down. Anyway, if, if you're interested in uh, in this perspective finder, um, you can go go all of them from Camp Bromley. I don't know how many he's got left. I'm not sure whether Fred actually made them. He designed them. He also designed a laptop um, cushion. A uh, tray with a very large paint box that contained just about every colour under the sun, uh, watercolour, and it was so ridiculous. It, you know, you, it's one of those things that you see and think, oh, I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind buying that, but you wouldn't use it. You'd use a few of the colours, but you wouldn't use a lot. Well, you might for a few days, but oh, that's right. Uh, there, I'll, I'll put a signature on it. Uh, let's just come out of that. There we go. It's on a hill. Uh, I just wonder whether I should uh, develop this one. No, I won't, I won't touch it. I won't do anything to it. Let's. Uh, Put in a bit of a signature here. Ah. Oh, yeah, got that bird. There's somebody's complaining there. Oh. Terry, I think, <laughs> where have the birds gone? Well, I've put some in here, Terry. So I hope you appreciate the gesture. Uh, see how, how much that's dried in? The, the colours have gone different because I wet it first. If you don't wet this paper first and get some water in it, you'll probably find that it will go into cauliflowers, you know, oases. It will dry nastily. But this, because of the, the wet in the paper, because I've let the surface, the shine on the surface go off, you get this, you get this lovely soft diffuse effect. All right, that's so, let's, uh, well, I'll do another one, I think. I'll just uh, get this uploaded. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, folks. It's just a, just a tutorial in uh, painting trees and texturing foregrounds and soft, gentle sky. Bye-bye.